Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Wednesday, May 1st. The weekly lesson is Worshiping God. The scripture we'll be referencing is Psalm 34, 8 through 10. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How happy is the person who takes refuge in him. You who are his holy ones, fear the Lord, for those who fear him lack nothing. Young lions lack food and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. How happy is the person who takes refuge in him? How happy can be rendered as how blessed or God blessed. In its primitive root, takes refuge meant to flee for protection. Figuratively, it came to mean to trust, confide, or hope in. Him, of course, refers to the Lord. The NIV renders this verse, blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. In essence, the encouragement of verse 8 is try the Lord for yourself. You will discover the happiness that comes from trusting and finding refuge in him. David drew on an example from the animal kingdom, something else he would be familiar with from his days as a shepherd. The lion was at the top of the food chain and strength and ability to find food at will. Young lions were especially an example of successful self-sufficiency. Nevertheless, times came when even they lacked food sources and go hungry. The comparison of the position of the godly ones with the affliction of a creature that is left to its own resources reveals a profound appreciation for the magnitude of the gift which man, compared with such a creature, receives through his communion with God. The young lions are thought to represent the rich, the strong, the self-sufficient in society who prey upon others to get what they want. The time will come when these lions of society will discover that their efforts will fail and their self-sufficiency will not be enough. Not so with those who rely on the Lord. They shall have the good things they need. Either view is plausible. Yet one more view is the young lions represent unbelievers who, spiritually speaking, are poor and famished even though they appear to be strong and vibrant. God does not necessarily give us everything on our schedule or in the way we want it. Nevertheless, we can trust God to provide the best for us in His way. His best is greater than anything we might hope for or expect. What are some lasting truths that come from Psalm 34, 8 through 10? Those who seek the Lord will find that He is good and brings blessing to their lives. Those who stand in awe of the Lord will find He is always sufficient for their needs and satisfaction and goodness are found in God alone. Until tomorrow, saints, and remember, every day is Sunday.